Right, so boys and girls, shout out to J200 for this idea. Basically, we've got, we've been on our story. Um, <laughs> this is a mad idea. It's already begun. Basically, we asked for your parents' phone numbers. Because we're, gonna... we're horny. <laughs> we're gonna, no, 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 straight to the point. We also asked for your schools. We're gonna be pretending to be your schools, phoning as the head teacher and potentially get you grounded. You'll see, just give it a minute. Oh, yeah. this is that. Right, who's going first? Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no other way of putting this, mate. I am the richest person in the ground right now. I can't even lie to you. I want to go first. Oh, okay, calm. You go cool. first then. Sweet. You go first, Give man. me a number. Oh, sure. before we go call this guy, I just got out of shit with my school and police. Really doing well at the moment, so please call her and say something horrendous that I've done to mortify. <laughs> Wait, why do you even ask that, That's man? what, that's what this has asked us to do. We're gonna phone mum today. Hello? Uh, hello? Is this uh, the mother of... It is. Um, hi, yeah, um, I'm actually from the school and we're calling outside of school hours as this wasn't something too formal But I thought it would just be best to tell you as a parent and it's not something I'd really like to have Well said in school working hours, but when he's done something that we're not really happy with as a community It's not it's not against school rules, but ethically it's not that good uh, You're talking to I'm gonna remain anonymous at the minute I am a worker at the school and I think it's best if we do inform you what Ellis did on a uh, Thursday but you can't tell me who you are. Uh, not at this particular moment in time, but you will be informed formally by the school. However, I do need to inform you out of school hours. As it was, um, he was caught performing sexual acts with another student uh, in the corridor. Now, as you'd imagine, this is not what you want to hear. And this is also why I did not want to call during work hours, allocated hours. As a parent myself, I thought it would be best to let you know. Right, so... When are the teachers going to inform me of this? Um, most likely Tuesday afternoon. Even though it's half time, are they obviously at the school? Yes. Right, okay. Um, right, well, I'll obviously, I'm just going to have to speak to my husband and wait, wait to speak to him. He's not here at the moment. Um, and when, when was this? Thursday? Thursday, yes. It happened in uh, the corridor and it was quite an explicit sight as uh, some of the year sevens. <laughs> Described. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. It's going around now. Ramshackle. So this wasn't in the sixth floor building. No, this was in the school corridor. It was a. Uh, it was with a. I think a year nine. <laughs> How old is that? Yeah, f uh, f fingering. Mm, not sure about this, to be honest. Yeah, we were quite um, startled as well, and yeah. I know. I mean, year nine is his sister's age. Yeah, I know. It can be really hard. Sometimes it's just best to. Deal with situations early before they accelerate. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I've just ruined right, that. I think I'll wait to hear from the school officially then. I'm joking, I'm really sorry. Doesn't finger the year nine. Goodbye. This is grand. <laughs> Just got out of trouble from the police. Man said he was a sixth former, fingering a year nine in a corridor. I didn't know it was a sixth former. <laughs> she was like, is it a sixth form building? Oh fuck, this guy's my age. Oh my days, bro. <laughs> the fact they didn't even tell it was a prank for YouTube as well. You I just, just went... felt like, boy did we go off script. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's calling his mom. Dude, 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 dude. Yo, I, dude. I did that. <laughs> Shit. What have I done? Did <laughs> she know? No, no, no. Mum, mum, we're sorry. She's gonna come with the. <laughs> What's she gonna do? No. I'm ready, bro. I go gym now, <laughs> so there's no holding back. Mum's on smoke, boys. Mum's actually gonna. Come. <laughs> Yo, boxing match between us. And Mom, I'm actually call no. I would like to call out his mum. Mum, I'm actually doing. If we're in the same weight range, I'm actually. I'll have a press conference with you. Uncle. <laughs> Hello. This is um Mr. Nadi Sam from school. Right. So um I'm just gonna call you about an incident that happened uh, this week. Basically, so we we're in maths and your son decided to get a protractor and bought out a white substance and uh, started snorting lines at the back of the classroom. Um and then then he shouted and I quote, "Who wants to have it then?" Who wants me in a fight? I'm Mason Greenwood. What day was this? Uh, it was Wednesday. You'd have to have a talk with your son about it because we don't tolerate that kind of behaviour in school. Obviously not. 
not. I'm just thinking, did you get any sort of ideas from you? Do you like snort lines or anything? Because it might be the parents fault. <laughs> <laughs> we don't tolerate this behavior. Why? Why? Obviously not. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I'm in 2014 doing prank calls, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but this is way worse because we're ruining lives, bro. We never change. We always end up in the same niche. The amount of kids we've got expelled from schools is just unhealthy. Yo, my apology video last uh, last year, I won't do any of this stuff again, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've changed it a lot. That's what I would prank. I would do math. Hi, this is the school speaking. Um, We're actually calling outside of school hours because of the informality of what your son did on... um. Uh, Monday morning, I believe. Another student, uh, they were in English, and um, Ganesh is a religious boy who was minding his own business. <laughs> yeah, Ganesh was uh, a. My... No, really no, Ganesh was. Um... Yeah, really listen, bitch. No, listen. <laughs> Ganesh was sat minding his own business. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And. Um... Why don't you care? <laughs> Why did she start laughing at Ganesh as well? Why are you laughing at Ganesh, bro? Hello, Ganesh. Your son took Ganesh's turban off, swinged it around his finger, running naked, and was screaming, Go back to Bongo Bongo Land. And that's your reaction. Exactly what he would say. Bye. Phenomenal respect for you. Sorry, what just happened? Ganesh! No, what just happened? I don't know. I don't know if... That's a... She raised a child. <laughs> That's worrying. Bro. She should not be allowed kids. How are you sat so still? How are you I so... Thought I'm sh I think I'm shaking. <laughs> but just trying so hard. I'm trying hard. <laughs> Guys, we fired Nathan in it. We got a new yeah, guy. Yeah, we got a new guy. He's trying... You sat so still, bro. Yo, obviously what happened with Nathan in the Halloween vid, we had to fire him. So, yeah, uh, Elf and Nathan in the comments. Boys. It wasn't even sarcasm. Yeah. Hello, sorry, um, this is um, Mr. Chu Cock calling from your daughter's uh, school. There was an incident last week um, which I was quite um, startled by. Your daughter attempted to try and kiss me earlier this week. Sorry? Yeah, so um, she stayed behind after class and she said she wanted to ask me a question. For what I thought was going to be a question about the nth term, she actually asked me how big my penis was. I said, excuse me, and she leaned towards me and tried Can to... Can you confirm the name of my daughter, please? Uh, Are you sure? Is she with you right now? She is, on the bus. Is she denying it or? Can you give me a call back in 10 minutes because it's not like I went to stuff on the bus. Is that okay? Oh, no worries, yes. Thank you. Alright, yeah, you get lost. Thank you. Oh, bro, that is going to be the longest 10 minutes. <laughs> bro, yeah. she's discussing it with her daughter. Yo, I'm so sorry. We're not going heavy. <laughs> no, bro, that one just hit home. You're a prick. That's not something I want to discuss on the bus. Bro, we told you guys this is going to be brutal. <laughs> we said. We are sorry. No, I'm not sorry. God damn. I'm a problem. I'm a problem. Hey. Hold hey. on, let me do it. Hey. All right, boys, we're right here. The commentators are here. We're at a good old Woodson Park in Ware. Shout out to all the Ware people. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Um, oh, some people. We're commentating. Um, oh, lovely, lovely. Yeah, do we need to sign in or anything? Don't you sign in? Okay. Any donations? I don't have any coins, That's I can't lie. You guys need a bigger hole. That can mean so many things, <laughs> can't it? Jesus. Yeah. Oh my God. Bro, we're here. We made it. We actually made it to the charity game, boys. It's the big man. How you doing, son? How are we? Yeah. You good? Phenomenal. How you doing, This bro? is the yeah. guy that yeah. made all this thing happen. <laughs> what an absolute lad doing bits for charity. That's what we like. Look at this guy. Oh my God. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Can I have a Pringle, bro? Yeah, I have a Pringle, bro. Are you uh, supporting yeah. charity today, mate? No. What? We're filming, you just said that. Yo, cancel P dots right now. I wasn't gonna I donated £3.20, mate. Oh, should we go up there and see what we have to do and get taught how to commentate? It's perfect. Yo, 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 yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Absolutely fine. We've got one mic, boys. Do you want to trade? Do you want to trade? Do you want to trade? You get to sit up there and commentate. I don't trust him with this. <laughs> well, I need to get my phone. I left it in the car, I think. Drop out. <laughs> Yo, he has to stay professional, man. He's the manager. What's he doing? I've lost my phone already. Is there a phone here? How have we just not... We're so unprofessional. Wow. <laughs> it's absolutely outrageous. Nah, bro. I've actually lost it. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> now, Phil, it was on the fucking sat-nav thing on his... I hate it here.
Before we get into the commentating, you must know one thing. Joe has given me a selection of words and phrases to say, and I've given him the same. And we're going to say these throughout the football match and potentially get each other cancelled. Yo, guys, welcome to the charity stream that the players are walking on. YouTube and TikTok is on the right. We've got the players on the left. Now, I am introducing myself as Ramps. What's taken on Instagram? I'm joined with my friend. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I am Snowy Joe. We need to introduce the players. So we've got uh, number four, Connor. We've got Tom P. We've got Jason D. We've got Raj. That's FIFA Addicts on... Uh, um, some some website. We've got Pulley. Pulley. Oh, I know Pulley. And um, yeah, he doesn't pull any muscles. Way. That is awful. <laughs> <laughs> and the players for the other team? Don't know. <laughs> number nine and number four are players to look out for today. And oh, and it's kicking off. off. Oh, oh! Phenomenal defence there from the Ware FC. Oh, oh! Oh, wow. It's close. Oh, oh! Oh. I can't lie, there, there's no like, way of putting this mate, I am the richest person in the ground right now, I can't even lie to you. A lot of these guys have come from all sorts of different backgrounds and uh, oh, yeah. it was only last night I realised that there are, there are people with foreskin. You just realised there are people with yeah, foreskin? Yeah, it was just last night, I was just thinking about it, like including yourself. I said this last video as well, it was like a, okay, it's like a little ghost. Let's get on with the game. Got some phenomenal support from the crowd here. A three year old clapping. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we go Junior, Junior! Junior, Junior, wow! Oh, oh, saved by the goal, oh, oh, yes. brilliant save. Oh, Lucky. can we go in the dark vlogs? And it's in! In the dark vlogs, In the it? dark vlogs. He got, he got a bit annoyed that I abused him last stream. So we're gonna be we're gonna be polite to him this time. Unless yes. you wanna be mean to him. Stick to a green screen, mate. <laughs> you got lucky. And what a show the boys are putting on. Um, Right, we've got True Jordy, the referee here. Took out of his time from uh, shitting on people's chests, but he's here. Oh, we can't swear. Sorry, guys. Didn't say that. <laughs> so do you know, there's a lot of... I love the diversity on um, today's game. I really do. Oh, yeah? What about it? Well, actually, it's funny. My five-year-old cousin always yells, um, look, it's a ninja, every time she sees a Muslim. But you get none of that in these charity games, which is that's what I love about them. I love the, the versatility. And it's all for charity. It doesn't matter what background you're from or anything. So I'm sorry for saying that, but that's my cousin's opinions, not mine. Referee kicks it halfway down to FIFA Addicts over there. His real name's Raj. Tries to build a shop every time he gets a corner. Stop. Oh, and it's all that. Oh, oh wow. I've got really bad diarrhea and I feel like it's sitting down, going down my leg right now. Really? Yeah. Bro, I told you good to go to and smell it up here. You know, I've seen lesbians play better with balls. I'd have to agree with you, man. I'd have to agree with you. <laughs> you can see a road. You can see a road over there. Oh, well, there is a road. There's a road behind the trees. I really like going to the shops just before they close and deep throwing cucumbers. It was just in, it was in my mind as it's Sunday. Oh, wow. He saved the goal. But he's a goalkeeper, so I'm not that impressed. See, I never understood that in match of the day. They go, oh, wow, he saved it. Well, yeah, he's been training for six odd months. <laughs> I just bloody hope so. And it's offside. I thought I said kebab, but it says Keeble. Shout out Keeble. I love... Ooh. It's a throw in. And it's... Oh, just missed the goal by an inch. The same size as Ramps' cock. <laughs> you, you're just having a bad day, bro. And if you are genuine, have it. Oh, wow! It's a goal! Shout out to the guy who scored that. Oh, oh, oh. It's a bit of a, a, a hip-half over there. Is that a bit of a kerfuffle? The camera's not getting it. Oh, there we go. The camera's got it. He's, he's, he's injured. He is gone, mate. J200 walking off doesn't seem to care. <laughs> doesn't give one, mate. I don't you know. guys don't know what's happened. We've got a net right by our heads and it's just like it's so small because we're obviously so tall ladies. I feel like a victim of fishing. Oh, yeah. Now I have sympathy for fish. No, I don't, bro. The thing is, I hate them. Like, I just don't see the point of that animal. We can all go without tuna. Little Julia back on it. You know you have to leave this way so the event organiser doesn't see you because of your stream and ticks. Get out before we get told off or anything else. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to leave before we get told off by any uh, people that are watching the stream. We're not in the changing rooms for a reason. We're hiding in the car park. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't actually have the trailer for next week because Joe forgot to bring the footage with him. But it's a library video. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we get arrested.